The late adopter. Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel, to the new video XRP right now, uh, minus 4.33%. So we're gonna see what's actually happening with XRP. Is this actually bad or good? Did it bottom or not? Uh, what are the supports and the resistances and what we expect actually to happen? So there is some kind of pattern that's forming on XRP right now that's also happening on Bitcoin. Uh, and Bitcoin today is down minus 1.5%, but it was down like almost 3% uh, down today. So it pulled everything, all the else with it. Uh, now that might actually be good for some people that are buying the dips and for some people it is like ah come on go up that's it let's get in the charts and actually start seeing what's actually happening with the xrp so you can see here two days ago we actually managed to break this 1.58 uh, resistance this uh, long line up here uh, we actually managed to break it and then uh, yesterday we actually managed also to hold it so that's very bullish unfortunately today we, it's looking like we are breaking on the downside now there's still 13 hours of trading left so this isn't conclusive or anything and even if we go down all the way down to the, the 20 moving uh, 20 moving average or even the 10 moving average one of these two lines uh, it really doesn't matter because th these are the actually the very very good support that we actually need to hold now this can might actually continue going sideways for a while because uh, this uh, 10 moving average this white white line is going to do something like this and it's first when we start hitting the white line that we are gonna uh, start climbing uh, up i'm not saying that we are going to climb up exactly the same every single time it might we might just go like this and some hit it and then bounce right uh, right back up uh how this is gonna play out it, it depends but this uh slower moving average 20 moving average will do something like this and continue following the uh, the price from the downside so we're gonna have 10 20 and then this one will come up to 50 moving average and stuff like that so they so they will uh, they will be one after another right right now this is the 20 and this is 10 but after a while it's gonna be 10 and the 20 below it and it will be pushing the price upwards so that's what we're looking for right now but um, this isn't conclusive it's just normal uh, trading and right now sitting below 1.58 but it's it's not a problem uh, on the on the four hourly chart you can see this clearly because this this red line this is the 20 moving average and you can see the 20 moving average we got support here here and right now we're getting another support over here uh, yesterday this green uh, this green line or uh, uh, this green candle right over there that was yesterday's last candle four hourly candle and you can see that we went all the way up to uh, 165 yesterday just before the daily close and after the daily close we uh, dropped down first four hours of the daily uh, new daily we dropped all the way down here to the support at the 20 moving average but now for the last eight hours we have been or seven hours we are getting into the eight hours for seven hours we have been holding the 20 moving average which is actually very um, uh, very positive and good now there is some kind of tr uh, the pattern forming here that i've been telling you about and we for that we're gonna turn off the uh, moving uh, averages so we can see this clearly and you can see that there is some kind of a some kind of a uh, some kind of a wedge up here uh, i think it's going somewhere all the way down there yeah, yeah, yeah it's not perfect wedge but it's good enough something like this maybe, maybe something like this and then the bottom line uh, should be something uh, going, or maybe going to use these ones something like this so you can see it is some kind of a wedge uh, the price went price went in, into the wedge start and following uh, creating this uh, uh, small uh, smaller and smaller channel on the way up right uh, we hit the support one two this is third to hit on support and the uh, and the resistance only one two this may be third hit on the resistance so maybe we have three hits on the resistance and one two this third hit to support so now the question is whether we're gonna go on upside or downside and what's the likelihood now i'm gonna argue that we this these wedges rising wedges usually break on the downside usually uh, but in a strong bull market st strong uptrends they do break on the upside they break on the upside as well so we are looking actually for the break on the upside and that is actually going to be a very uh, That can be a very big move. That's the actually move that actually can get us all the way up to 1.97 If we can manage to break upside from this trying from this rising in wedge uh, Let's see just how much this rising wedge actually can uh, Can move us 
if we are to, supposed to break here, you can see here we are getting to that two level uh, 1.97. On the downside, we are looking at 1.22 retracement that can also happen. Now, Bitcoin is not done for today. Uh, it still has some room to go before we close the day and then go also close the weekly close. Uh, and if you can go back and watch the Bitcoin video and see uh, what, I, what I think about Bitcoin. But tomorrow is going to be very interesting because we don't know if Bitcoin is actually going to have a pullback on the weekly or not. If it has pullback on the weekly, then the, uh, the probability is that everything is going to break out of these wedges on the downside. Uh, so it can be very bloody next start of the next week. But on the other hand, if uh, Bitcoin decides to go up and everything is looking uh, that way right now, then we might actually have a really nice pump all the way up to the two. So it's little, little undecisive. You have to watch this uh, rising wedge that's actually happening right now. This cannot last forever. What's not to yeah tomorrow? Like most at most one two day left, and then it has it has to decide because we are getting to the today Sunday uh, also one day left. Like something has to go. So if you break on this on the downside, I will be looking into some uh, uh, lower numbers down here, and if you break on the upside, uh, up at. Uh, uh, 1.97 let's see uh, let's get that uh, uh, targets again we can we can write down targets like say it's break right over here down then the target should be around 125 and if it breaks on the upside target it should be around uh, two or something like that give or take these are only the first targets now as soon as these targets are hit something is going to happen either it's going to be continuation or a reversal but either, either way those are the targets that we are looking at now so it's a little undecisive right now uh, but everything else beside uh, the the wedge is looking positive and good uh, you can see that 125 is actually below the, the 20 and the 10 moving average so if we start dropping that hard down on on the week then uh, uh, we just start dropping that hard and i'm believing that it's gonna be just like during one day we're gonna drop hard and then we're gonna wick back up uh, we're just gonna have a, 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 these long weeks, these weeks, we're just gonna have a week down and then the price is just gonna uh, be bought again above the 10 and 20 moving average on the daily. The, uh, on the other hand, if we start going up, uh, it's all nice and dandy. But that's what we got for you today. Uh, watch watch the wedge, watch the moving averages. We don't want to fall below the 20 on the on the 4 hourly because that will also tell us that we are falling uh, uh, out. Uh, now, although we, uh, our target is 125, the 50 and the 100 moving average can actually give us some kind of support. All. And then we got also support here on the on the 20 and 10. So there, there are all kind of support. So it doesn't actually mean that we have to fall all the way down to 125 if we fall through the wedge on the downside. But I'm leaning more towards the upside uh, because I actually think that uh, Bitcoin is very bullish and should continue on the upside. So we're going to see what's going to happen. St stop by tomorrow and... Uh, check what, what happened and what I think about that, then I'm posting XRP videos every single day. So do subscribe to the channel and uh, like the video and check out the links below for Telegram group and Patreon and all the shebang, all the shebang. Thanks guys for watching, see you around, bye bye.